happy new year it is january 1st 2024 and i am so excited for a full year of adopt me getting started we have some brand new news that has shaken up the community because it appears that the aussie egg is coming back you guys remember the aussie egg let's claim our 38 day login streak real quick um here we go look looking good looking good let's change out our little bucks situation here just so that you know we can go ahead and start the countdown for maybe getting a blazing lion and let's take a look at the journal. Aussie? No. The Aussie egg. It was obtained on now i think this is when the journal came out but it's from 2020. if we take a look at the wiki here these were the percentages they were 750 bucks as every gumball machine egg is and the legendaries were the turtle and the kangaroo i think the turtles are more sought after than the kangaroo but these were the pets the bandicoot the dingo the emu the australian kelpie frog koala turtle and kangaroo back when these eggs used to only have one two three four five six seven eight seven to eight-ish pets. Now they have like closer to 13 and 14, which is really cool. The Aussie egg came out in February 29th, 2020. So almost after three years, guys, we have Aussie pets coming back. Here's the video by Adopt Me that ruffled some feathers. As we can see, we can hear Digi Didgeridoo playing in the background. We have a picture of a kangaroo and a boomerang. You got a little Outback hat, you know, and it says Aussie. Uh, as you guys can imagine, this sparked a little bit of outrage as people are really concerned that if the egg returns, the trade values are going to go down, their eggs are not going to be worth as much, their pets are not going to be worth as much, because the amount of people that were playing in February 2020 is way, way less than the amount of people that are playing now. So I totally understand the concern. But we recently got an update. So we have our very first sneak peek of a little pet right here. It looks like a little koala type of hamster. It's got a little skinny tail. It's hopping around doing some flips and tricks. And if we go up here, Jesse, one hour ago, Jesse, one hour ago, released the Adopt Me Weekly News. As we can see, he's titled it First Update of the Year, Aussie Pets, New UGC Items Rewards, Jellyfish. So you guys want to watch this because I'm going to tell you how to get these new pets. So in this first chunk, he's pretty much saying everything to do with the winter updates going away, the Frost Fury game, all the pets, Peppermint Penguin, Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon, it's all leaving. And this Thursday, being the 4th of January, 20. 24. We have three new Aussie pets coming, not a new Aussie egg. So I hope that calms some nerves. We have the uncommon Cuco, Cuca, um, and it's worth 750 bucks. So it's not a Robux pet, it's worth bucks. We have the Tasmanian Devil for 1450 bucks. That's kind of expensive. That's kind of a lot. That's like almost as much as Royal Egg, if not as much. Our star, one of my favorite animals, this big kingfisher, I think it's called the Kookaburra. Maybe he fishes, fishes? I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I have to do some investigation. It's going to be an ultra rare and you can find them with the other pets in the Aussie area starting this Thursday. Now, did they do, okay, 150 Robux. <gasps> And then we are saying goodbye to the African wild dog. Goodbye, African wild dog. And replacing it with a jellyfish in the UGC item area. I'm going to show you guys where this is because a lot of people don't know. So you guys can click on the pet accessories. Head to go get more. Now these are technically UGC only pets because you have to buy the UGC item to get them. You come over here and new items in 44 seconds. Okay. So basically UGC reward. Buy official Adobe. Sorry, my eye. It just ugh. Each stamp you get a reward. So you click start and now we can claim a dog after we buy five UGC items. So this bug net is a hundred. I wonder, you know, if there's some that are cheaper than the others. Buy whatever this is. Okay. That one's only 60. Bring bunny hood. That one's 59 too. I think you can also just buy, oh, this one's also 59. I'm like thinking that you don't have to buy the $100 one, the 100 Robux one. You could just buy, oh, they just refreshed. Okay, look at this money bag on this back, stack of cash. <laughs> So once you buy your five UGC items, you can claim this African wolf dog, which is leaving. It's leaving guys. So it's going to be replaced with the jellyfish very, very soon this Thursday. So, oh my gosh, so cute. Now this is a premium pet. This is so detailed. Let's see, does it have holding animations? Kind of, it doesn't, it's not animated, but <laughs> at least he's like, hi. <laughs> I only have a few of these because it's kind of, kind of a pain in the, in the butt to like try to buy all these items. Items. So this is where the jellyfish will be. Now, I want to see what inspires these pets in real life. So let's Google Kyooka. Kyooka? It's cute. Okay. Look at this. It's range is a small area of southwestern Australia and inhabits some smaller islands. And 
look at the, oh my gosh. It's a mars, is it a marsupial? Kind of, adorable. Wow, now that is cute. It's like a beaver type of kangaroo. Oh my gosh, look how adorable. We also have the Tasmanian devil. I really thought we already had a Tasmanian pet. We Oh, we have the Tasmanian tiger. Okay, so we have a ta Tasmanian tiger pet. And here is the Tasmanian devil. They are a little bit more scary. They're a little bit more maybe like predatory. Larger surviving carnivorous marsupials. So they, they eat meat. Oh my gosh. They're kind of angry at each other. But they're cute. They're cute. Look at them. <laughs> they're just playing, I'm sure. And then we have the kookaburra. Let's take a gander. Okay, cute little bird pet. I mean, I could, I think I could tell that it was a bird. Um, it's got a huge beak, absolutely massive beak. They're tree kingfishers. What does that mean? Okay. Um, little known fact about me: I'm scared of birds. I think you guys might know this because I talk about it often. I am scared of birds. Look how scary this is. Fear running through my veins. Now, I think it's cute that they added a blue little accent because it looks like a lot of them don't have the blue accents. I don't know if that's a female versus male thing. Um, but little fun fact. And I feel like we all know what a jellyfish looks like, right? This looks like it could be a box jellyfish. No. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna write jellyfish pink. And you get a bunch of, get a bunch of fake images. A bunch of images that aren't actually, well, this is a jellyfish. Oh, pretty. So pretty, but so zappy. So pretty. So, it, I, uh, stream pink jellyfish. Is this SoundCloud? What? What is this? Oh, this is me learning that pink jellyfish, mauve stinger jellyfish. That's pretty close. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> okay. There Sometimes he is. There they are. There she is. Jellyfish. Amazing. Before we go, I want to open up an Aussie egg. I only have 30 of them, and I'm assuming these are kind of partly hatched already. Wait, why are they separated then? I don't know. But let's see what we get from the Aussie egg. You guys remember from the beginning of the video? We had what, you know, what you could possibly get. Go ahead. Rewind. Let's see. Oh, he's sleeping. That's okay. Let's give it a go. This egg is from 2020. It's an old, old egg. And let's see. See? Hatch, 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 A koala! Oh, cute baby. See how its feet are kicking? Things just used to be different back in the day. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to play this game. What? Thank you guys so much for watching today's news video. If you love Adopt Me News, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below, PG Squad, and don't forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!